for me, it's very obvious that being uncomfortable is where you want to be. This is where there's growth. This is where there's learning. This is where there's, there's, you're moving something forward, like when you're uncomfortable. And uh, it's not easy, but that's just, that's just how life, just like growth, you know? It's interesting because you were just saying that and made me think of two other people, authors, that I know you're a fan of, uh, Scott and Helen Nearing, mm -hmm. The Good Life. Yeah. And then I had marked down a quote in, in uh, their book. They wrote, the value of doing something does not lie in the ease or difficulty, the probability or improbability of its achievement, but in the vision, the plan, the determination, and the perseverance, the effort and the struggle which go into the project. Life is, is enriched by aspiration and effort rather than by acquisition and accumulation. I agree. That feels, were you also really inspired by them and those mm -hmm. kind of statements? Mm -hmm. I was. And, and this, is, this is a statement that rings really true to me like like it's not it's not the uh, the destination it's the, it's the trip you know yeah and it's the level of involvement that you're putting in something that's where you get a lot of satisfaction it's like if you're really doing something deeply with with high uh you know high stake of where you want to be and you're achieving that that's great but what we're actually achieving it's like you know, it's then you're moving on to something else. Uh, so it's it's the progress that's really interesting, that's fulfilled. <laughs> yeah, it's where like, meaning you know, comes. From. I was I was super successful at FQT Farm. I, I had uh, the crew, uh, you know, really going. We were doing our benchmark. The farm is established. Like I was, I could have just sat there and say, "This is it." Like I I have a job now. I can be here for 20 years and. Just do that. Just do that. It's like, no, no, no. I wanted to build a restaurant and I wanted to come here and do this. And like, this didn't, is not a sure thing. Like there's failure that that's a probability here. Like this yeah. could be like a non, you know, a, pro a project where I lose more money than I make, but I wanted to do it. And so taking more risk. And like, I think there's, I think there's uh, there's something there. Yeah, well, I think that attitude, that understanding, that aspiration and effort and, and the struggle can really be powerful mm -hmm. meaning makers in people's lives. Mm -hmm. And I think that whole sentiment is, I don't know if I would call it a comeback, like did we lose that per se, but I think there's more people that are in the popular eye that are saying these things. And so I think there's going to be more and more young people that are thinking that way and, and yeah. going for it and trying to do incredible things. And, and you know, respect and, and disrespect. You know, a lot of people, th what their needs is that they don't want to be disrespected. So they want to be respected. Mm. How do you earn respect for somebody else? Hard work, dedication to a goal. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's how you establish yourself as somebody that's going to be respected by others is because not what you're saying what you're doing day in day out what 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 people are seeing you being involved in and really deeply committing to something that's where people gain respect for you and you know respect is really important like like getting respect getting from... respect and and it, once you once like it's just in itself like working really hard on something that is your own you're not doing it to get the respect, but that's the result. And once you have that, it feels good, you know, it feels good inside. You're it makes like, me think of the village as, a, as an idea that everyone had, within the village, you, you wanted to be respected mm -hmm. because without that, well, you were that you were the outcast, the loner, yeah. the, and that was everything to a social group as, you know, as small as a village. Yeah. So that's pretty powerful, I think. And you know, yeah, it is powerful. And wh what do you want the village to say about you? Yeah. Like, Chris is bright. Uh, he works really hard. And he never does thing halfway. Like when he does something, he goes all the way. And he's prepared. He comes prepared, he has all these notes taken. And like, this is what the village is saying. Yeah. And that's important. 